see that. Look at that. I come here to the Peak District to see what my gravel bike can do. All I need now is somebody with some expertise. Please don't use the term expertise. <laughs> and, some, and some local knowledge to show me the ropes and teach me some skills. Maybe somebody who lives locally with a background in cyclocross racing who's also taken up gravel events too. Maybe someone with medical qualifications who deals with children, just in case I have one of my temper tantrums. Maybe someone like NHS hero and cyclocross gravel badass, Phoebe Snedden. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, the, the laughing bit. Have you finished your intro now? Yeah, thanks for being with, on, with me on that one. That was, uh, that was quite good, wasn't it? I'd be skid as well. Excellent skid mark. I'm so keen to get going. I'm going to clip myself in and let's just crack on me. Well, wait, before we go, we need to make sure we've got everything you need. Okay. okay. So we're going off the beaten track, so we need to make sure that we're self-sufficient. So have you got everything you need to fix puncture, for example? Well, I've got, I've got uh, a coat good. Uh, and I've also got some biscuits. What else do I need? Right. Have you got a spare tube? Yeah. I've got a tube. Yeah. Um, that was magic, wasn't it? Is it the right size for your wheel size? Is this a 650? Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Same with me, so we can share. So that's good. Have you got a pump? I've got a pump. Excellent. Um, and are you running tubeless now? Yes. Have you got any plugs? Yes, plugs? I have. Always handy. Just in here. So basically, if, you, if you're running tubeless tyres, yep. which you've got, the sealant within the tyre should plug most holes, yep. little holes, yep. small punctures. But if you've got a bigger hole, um, what you can do is you unscrew this and they're quite handy because they fit in your pocket nice and easy. You see there's a pointy end here? Yeah. And this little soft bit, well, relatively soft bit on the end. Yep. So the idea is that you load it up, pop that in there, plug on the end. Where the hole is, you poke that through, pull it out, and it will leave that bit sticking out, and it right. should fill the hole. Like a little plug, right, okay. Yeah, like a plug. And, it, and, and, and the thing is, the little carrying case itself, that's pretty aerodynamic as well, which is great. Excellent, so if you wanted to strap it to your front, Indeed. Fine. <laughs> uh, I've got some Allen keys, I've got some Allen keys. Yeah. I've got a chain link extractor as well. Awesome. Uh, and I've got some patches just in case, worst yeah. case scenario, but probably won't be using patches. That's uh, a bit old school. The other thing that's handy to have is a split link. Right. So if you've got your chain tool and a split link, then any major mechanicals with, your, you know, if you rip your rear mech off or you break your chain or whatever, we can fix up, we can single speed it. And I've got a few snacks in there as snacks. well. Snacks. So snacks. Excellent. And you mentioned you've got a coat. I've got a coat in there. Yeah, because sometimes you know, if the weather gets cold and we get stuck somewhere, I'm going to keep me nice and warm. And I've got a couple of bottles on. So. Excellent. Plenty of water, plenty of snacks. Right, finally. Yeah? Let's go. Shall we go? Yep. I'll follow you. I'll take your lead. Right, Phoebe, technically, yeah. we are now actually graveling. We're on the gravel. We're so, graveling. So now we're graveling. What's tip number one? Tip number one is ride with your friends. That's what we're kind of already doing, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So it's always good to have a mate when you're riding on gravel because you're often out in the middle of nowhere. Yep. And also, it's way more sociable on the gravel bike because yep. you can ride side by side without any cars tooting you to get out of the way. That's actually very nice, isn't it? It's, uh, there's, there's definitely a social side to gravel. It's kind of, it clearly is a hybrid, isn't it, between mountain biking and road. Yeah. But the thing that remains for me. It's fun because it you do get to chat and you're not thinking about, like you said, extraneous things like traffic and stuff. Yeah. And also, for, I guess for a lot of people who want to get confident in riding, yeah, that lack of traffic, it kind of, oh, hey, straight that, that's, this is real. That was gravel right there. Right, let's get stuck in to some graveling montage. Riding with friends, got the half wheel on already. We're about 1k into the ride. <laughs> so, we've done a bit of gravel. We did a bit of grass back then, and now we've come on to another surface. It's more like mountain biking, so what's next? Like you mentioned, we've done grass and gravel. We're doing a mixture of terrain, yep. okay? Uh, this is a bit rougher. Uh, so we're going to just look at it because it gets quite rocky at the bottom. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that you're comfortable on your bike, you're controlling your speed before we hit the rough stuff at the bottom. Right. So position for descending. How would you descend on your road bike? I'd be sat down, but yeah. also if this is going to be bumper, I'd probably get yeah. out of the saddle a little bit on this one. Yeah, yeah, so on the drops, you've got your nice splayed bars for lots of balance and control, okay? Bum up, out the saddle, in the ready position, which yeah. is what they call it in mountain biking. Um, and that way you can absorb all the bumps. So most gravel bikes don't have any suspension, yeah. although 
starting to come. Mine's got a nice 20 mil of travel in the front. 20 mils, right there. <laughs> but you don't need suspension because you've got arms and legs. Yeah. Which you've got hinges. So you're going to use your arms and legs as suspension and the bike will roll and move underneath you. So trust the bike. Yeah. Look where you're going. Uh, There's always a good tip to look ahead and look at what's coming up, yeah. isn't it? So rather than steer, gently guide around anything yeah. and just let the bike do the work, basically. I mentioned it gets a bit rocky at the bottom. Okay. You're going to choose your line choice carefully, otherwise you're going to lose your jammy dodgers. I'm going to have to completely activate my full body suspension to protect my jammy dodgers. Exactly. All right? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. How did you find that, Matt? That's good fun, first and foremost, but uh, yeah, pretty much a straight line and let the bike do the work, but I was pretty much out of the saddle for the whole way down, on the drops, just using my body as a suspension system. And, thank goodness, my jammy dodgers were saved as well. Yeah, all you need to do is just trust the bike and look where you're going. Definitely. Come on. So Phoebe, graveling in a straight line, relatively straightforward, but graveling on corners, it's a different kettle of fish. Yeah, and it can be a tricky skill to master. So we're gonna come and look at a couple of corners here. We've got some nice loose gravelly S-bends. Yep. Um, but you know how to corner on a road bike. Yep. Yeah. Reasonably well. Yep. So on a gravel bike, slightly different. Okay. So on your road bike, I guess you'd, if you were gonna come in, if this was nice smooth tarmac, you'd crank the bike round, wouldn't you? Yep. Keeping the weight through your outside foot. Yep. A little bit of braking, and you could go quite fast. Yep. Not the case on your gravel bike. Okay. So you can see it's quite loose. We wanna get our braking done nice and early. So whilst the bike is in a nice upright straight, straight line. Okay. Okay. If you brake with your bike angled over, you're probably going to skid a little bit on the Right, okay, you're going to wash out, yeah. yeah. Which is fine with the back wheel, but when the front wheel goes, it gets a little, little sketchy. Okay. okay. So, early braking, brakes off, smooth around the corner, you can get back on the brakes for the next one. You've got knobbly tyres, yeah, so you should have a fair bit of grip, but in the same way as, a, as you would really angle the road bike round in order to go around a hairpin, you probably don't want to angle the bike quite so much, because as we okay. discussed, we don't want to wash out. Okay, let's give this a go. Yeah. Do you want to follow me down? Oh, uh, sort of, yeah. So I'm going to take this one nice and wide. It's a little bit bumpier, but it's a nice wide one and you can cut a bit tighter in. Okay. So on the brakes, braking done nice and early, looking where I'm going. I'm going to take this nice smooth round around the outside, just let the bike roll around, and then look up to the track below. That was good. Some good tips there. I think yeah. a lot of takeaways, but one thing that I didn't really think about but realised that I did afterwards was that I, I was descending out the saddle on the corners because I've done a bit of mountain bike and a little bit of cyclocross and um, again, there's no kind of hard and fast rule. I, I guess a lot of it would depend on your experience and also how rough the surface is on the corner as well. Yeah, so it's nice smooth hero gravel like we're on at the moment. You could definitely sit down like you yeah. would do on a road bike. Um, and I think if you come from road riding, you're probably more comfortable sitting on the saddle. Um, but if you come from mountain biking, you'd be much more um, used to getting into what we call the ready position. So yeah. pedals level up on the up, uh, like up on your arms on the bars. Um, I think it's, it is personal preference, but if it's bumpy, I would definitely recommend standing up out the saddle because yeah. you just take and absorb a little bit more of the trail. And it gives you a bit more movement with the bike. You can angle the bike a little bit underneath you not too much as we discussed but um yeah two things have happened the sun's come out which is great yeah but also the gradient has just started to rise as well yep. so um what's the best te technique then on uh, especially on this sort of pretty loose rocky surface for climbing yeah so this is pretty rough and we use a similar technique for the descending in that you want to pick a nice line choice a nice smooth bit yep you're going to keep your weight in the centre of the bike. You can sit down in the saddle. Whoa! <laughs> 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 right, let's keep going. That's real life, that's real gravel. I'm going without you. <laughs> that's real. Okay. Because if you stop, yep. you might not get going again. This is quite uh, rough, isn't it? Yeah. 
And you want to think about having nice smooth pedal strokes so you can gain that traction through the more loose sandy stuff. Yep. Think about pulling round with your foot. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you got to f up those sounds. <laughs> or maybe just don't ride in the gutter. Right, I'm back on. <laughs> Do you know what though, as well as people, there's no shame in walking, is there? There's no shame in walking. No. <clears throat> yeah. What about getting out of the saddle? You can try it, and it works sometimes. Yeah. But when you want that traction through yep. the back wheel, yep. sometimes a little tricky if you're out the saddle. Sure. You're better off feeling nice and planted on yep. the front of the seat, especially if it's steep. Yeah. Like it is here. You might need to torque the pedals a little bit. <laughs> Give it a bit of oomph. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little oh, run up. Oh, I just did me knackered. <laughs> You better not be filming this. You better not be filming this. Right. Are you there? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Stop riding away from me. Just keep pedalling. <laughs> Thanks for your tips on that one. <laughs> Blimey. So it might take a little bit of practice. Definitely. I think I need a bit more practice on these wonky bits. Yeah. But I'm getting there. You know what, Phoebe? Yeah. I think I've got a hang of this. Oh, good. So I'm going to stop here, Matt, and we'll just have a look at this bit. It's pretty loose. It is pretty steep rough. as well, yeah. And it's also very sandy and yeah. deep. I think, given how steep it is, and you know, it's my first time taking you out on the gravel bike, we might be better walking down here. I think that's a, it's a really good point though, isn't it? Because there's no point, especially if you're kind of relatively new to it, to put, ever putting yourself out of a comfort zone, either on a really steep section or a descent. Yeah. And if you're feeling outside your comfort zone, it is time to stop, isn't it? Yeah. There's no shame in that, is there? No, not at all. And that's, that's one of the beauties of the gravel bike. You know, it, it will, you know, pretty much do everything. But if you don't fancy something, it's absolutely fine to get off and walk. I raced uh, Grinduro a couple of weeks back and some of the descents on that were pretty sketchy. And there were quite a few of them where we were all walking down shuffling down a few rocky bits specifically when it was like really really loose and slippy yeah um, and which is how it is here so let's just walk down this little bit and then we can get back on when it evens out a bit. sounds good to me might be a good time to point out this is why you wear spds Indeed, <laughs> and <yeah>. not road <laughs> shoes <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great. That was a blast, actually. I'm just going to swig of this. Did you enjoy it? Hmm. First and foremost, it's just relaxed, isn't it? Very relaxed. I, I like the fact, and more and more, my bike riding is all about going as fast or as slow as I want. And that's what these bikes enable you to do. Whatever the terrain, the gearing's ridiculously low. So whatever your kind of level, and however hard or slow you want to go, you can you can just enjoy yourself. And that's, that's my really big takeaway from this. I, I've had an absolute blast, yeah. What about you? I think the best thing about the gravel riding is, you know, you're off the road, you're away from the traffic, you can explore new places, places you've never been before, and it is, it's super relaxed, you can do whatever, you can make it as hard as you like, as easy as you like, you can ride from pub to pub, you can ride all day and do hundreds of miles, it's, it's up to you, you can make it what you want. And also, without knowing it, the thing that's good about riding gravel is the fact you're building up the skill set as well, aren't you? Without even knowing it, you're having fun yeah. building up skills. There's a kind of nuanced way the bike moves on gravel, and you can tran you can kind of take that across to the road or cross or whatever. So I think whilst having fun, you're actually learning how to handle the bike better, which is a massively important takeaway as well, isn't it? Yeah, there are some great skills to be had from the gravel bike, and like you say, it makes your road riding better. It can make your mountain biking better. It could be a nice, easy intro to cyclocross racing if that's the way you want to go. But you don't have to push yourself. You don't have to do everything super fast. You can just relax, ride, enjoy yourself. And although we're both clad like roadies. Yeah, we you are. Can wear, you can wear what you want. We've opted for this. You can wear anything. Uh, that, it's such a relaxed vibe, isn't it? It is. I'm, I am disappointed that you didn't turn Sorry. up in some you know, denim hot pants and a flannel shirt. It's all about aero honest. for me today. It's all about aero You're today. trying to keep up, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Didn't Forgive need to say it. that, really. That spoiled it a bit. Sorry. I've got a cheeky little surprise. Do you want to hold, hold the beer? Yeah. Just to wrap things up. I always bring a cheeky surprise. Back in the day when I used to do hostel runs in the Peak District, Cubes of jelly was a yeah, treat. I cubes love of cubes jelly. of jelly, that's uh, my also, ultimate. One of my mates always used to bring some chocolate. Oh, 
Oh. Get that down right. here. Oh, spot beer. That's what it's back, all back. about. Beer, chocolate, grassy knoll, mate. <laughs> Gravel. Grass. Big house. Sheep's poo. Who cares? <laughs> That's what it's all about. Nice one. Nice one. Have a taste of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not as delicate, but it's got a bit more of a punch. I prefer this to you, Jammy Dodgers, I'll be mm. honest. Yeah, well, they're bl God bless it's the Jammy not, Dodgers. It's, it's, a, it's a mid class of biscuit, the Jammy mm. Dodger. Yeah, and I'm a bit worried about the I think the I'd have thought be. better of you if you'd bought Fox's Crunch Creams. I'll, I'll Maybe next time. Maybe, Maybe next time. time. For a longer mm. ride.